welcome to another video of Rally Rackets. In this video, we will be talking about the Queen of Wimbledon, Emma Raducanu. What is her background and what are the things that are happening in her life right now and how she is dealing with all of them? There is no doubt that she is such a superstar at a little age, and we also hope that she handles all of this well. Now, before we move forward, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. The Background of Emma Raducanu Emma Raducanu looks determined to enjoy the show. She told Kevin Garside about her whirlwind year. She experienced a surreal feeling of seeing her face on the Wimbledon station poster. She also told why she is not putting pressure on herself for the next fortnight. She sat behind a table signing the station posters with a small group of reporters in front of her. It felt like the chair she was sitting on was the throne. A year ago, she arrived as a little-known sixth former straight from the A-level examination hall. She is entrapped in a life that does not seem fair to a little girl. Inviting 19 years old to bear the weight of the SW19 ball and wear a queen's robe is cruelty, since all this is outside of her experience. I mean, just imagine, your daughter returns from her freshman year with an A-level in arithmetic and is now responsible for the family business. You would never subject her to it. Right now, she is focusing hard on her game. Ask her anything about tennis, opponents, shot making, form, preparation, and fitness, and you will see the answers and facts. If you ask her what it all means, how it feels to be adored by everyone, be the center of attention, and be the main story on the most prestigious tennis stage in the world, despite having never set foot on center court, how Emma Raducanu deals with this transformational stuff. But how does she deal with all this transformational stuff, the publicity, and the response you get? While she was asked this question, she answered, I think it's pretty surreal to have my face in Wimbledon Station. It is a bit unrecognizable like that cannot be me. I am very lucky to be working with some amazing partners. I think that everything that I have been doing with them has been very positive because I feel like I've learned a lot from them just seeing the way they go about things. And although I am a tennis player, there is so much more to life, and I think that I learn and can apply those areas of business and how they approach their work with the utmost standards to my tennis as well. So yeah, broadening all sorts of knowledge. She is dealing with a lot right now. She is learning how the world works. What is the reality of power, influence, commerce, and value? Last year, the girl was answering commerce questions, and now she practically has millions of pounds in her account. She said, I doubt I participated in any actual media days. I was merely practicing. I could feel my nerves and apprehension. It seemed like a pretty novel experience to me. However, I had a wonderful week of practice and was hitting with some top players, so I was feeling pretty confident. I hit Garbine, which greatly boosted my confidence. Since my tests were completed, I was merely looking forward to it. Radakanu Preparation for the Wimbledon Injury has seized Radakanu's momentum after her victory in New York. In both the major slams in Australia and Paris this year, she lost in the second round. Her third withdrawal since the U.S. Open at the Nottingham Open was due to a side strain, putting her participation in Wimbledon in danger. But after coming through her session on Saturday, she said she is ready to go. She said last year I was so new to it, so I wasn't even thinking of anything. This year I'm taking it all as a positive thing. Everyone wants me to do well and is behind me. Those who are out there on the court and are going to be cheering. So there's nothing negative or to feel overwhelmed about because they're just going to be rooting for me. With this positive attitude, Radakanu is going to participate in the tournament. So this was all from the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. What are your thoughts about this situation? Will Radakanu survive these uncertain times and a variety of things that she is handling right now? We would love to hear your remarks in the comment section below, so we'll see you soon with another video on another topic.